We have a special guest with us today, Cooper the dog, one of the main characters from your book. Um, you get quite a few uh, comments from readers about Cooper, is that right? Almost all of the fan letters that I get about these two books have to do with Cooper. <laughs> and he's actually not in that many chapters, is that true? Uh, well, as it started out in uh, Lost and Found, the first book, I let him in after the first 50 pages, mm -hmm. and oh my gosh, you would have thought he wrote the book. How did you decide to write from Cooper's point of view? I've always been interested in imagining what animals are thinking and feeling. So it wasn't that big of a leap for me to apply that to Cooper. Hmm. So some people would say that Cooper is really the star of your books, um, Lost and Found and Picture This. Yes, but I, I really want to let you know this book is about a prof a profound loss and transformation. Well, the marketing department adores him. <laughs> um, All he has to do is show up. At times, Cooper seems wiser than the people around him. Can you explain that? It's because animals live in a different sensory world than we do. For example, he combines emotion with scent, which is just not what humans are able to do. Hmm. Well, uh, do you think there's anything that Cooper would want to tell us if he could? I think he'd really want us to know that being with a dog makes people more human. Mm. Well, um, we're running out of time. Before we go, uh, could I have your autograph? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, Jacqueline, I'd love your autograph too, but Cooper, could I have your autograph? <sighs>